If I want to use the revision history plugin, guess what? I need to have a revision history plugin here. I will add it to my toolbar too. And I have those two function here that uh, I need to implement. The revision history here uh, is to fetch, as you probably guessed, the old save version. So this is require. What I've done here, I've already loaded all my revision. So I fake load my database here. I have everything in my revision here and I just sort them through the date and, you know, resolve that with the sorted version of everything I had in my JavaScript file. So this is how TinyMC was able to load the history of like all the changes. And I continue to fetch the users because we need that for most collaboration plugins. You need users to know who has done what. So again, that's the same principle as before. I just kind of like have my, my, my fake API that returned me a JSON list of users and I loaded here. And the last one is the revision history fetch revision, which is a pretty interesting name here. I created that uh, here where I'm fetching a spe specific revision based on what the user selected. And I send that to TinyMC and TinyMC, this is where TinyMC is like, yeah, I need to change the content with the revision selected by the users. Or if there's an issue, I can also reject because like, I don't know, the user selected something that I was not able to fetch completely. So this is how you implement that.